I still stand by what I said in my previous video, NPC STEM standalone doesn't suck, it's you. And for some of you guys, you understood what I meant. And for the rest, some of you just had so many reasons of why NPC stems wasn't that great. And it's all valid. And I also never said the sound quality was great either. Even in the video, I mentioned how it didn't really do a great job on the vocals. And it takes a long time to render, which is expected because it's only two gigabytes of RAM in standalone. But the point of that video and today's video is to stop being so overly critical about everything. And it's only through exercising your creativity, you could really come up with something unique. So in today's video, let's make a game out of this and see how we can make MPC STEM standalone usable. All right, starting off, I have the sample pulled up and I didn't just go with a simple sample either. I went with something that's actually gonna be challenging just so you can really see how it's all up to you on how you decide to be creative. <laughs> You can hear that this sample has a lot going on from the drum pattern and you know the rap vocals and you know different kind of melodies so this is not an easy choice for stems to kind of like separate it and really make it sound good since everything is like really layered on top of each other so i actually want to sample a part of the course so let's just go from right here and like i said in my previous video it's good to do like a two bar loop four bars maybe kind of pushing it if you don't want to wait when it's rendering and all i want to do now is go to process and press discard because I'm not gonna use the other parts of the sample. Let's just see what it sounds like tuned. I wanna go for like that chickmunk kind of sound like the old Kanye. So to get that, he usually tunes it up six. Yeah, that's hard. And then what we can do from here now is just go to process and we can stem that out and I'm gonna keep it on pad one. I'm probably not gonna use the drums. Off the back, we already know how the drums is not gonna really sound that well. Let's press do it. And then boom, we have it. So I'm just gonna label these because this is a long title. And then we have our bass. Not really usable, but I think when you're using it with the sounds, it could kind of you know work together because a bass is not like a drum sound. A bass is more melodic, so it's probably going to be blending in with that stem that is just the sounds. And from here, we could go to program edit by simply doing menu and pad 14 and go to samples. And then you want to click samples again. And the purpose of having it on the first pad is because now we have the volumes to control each one. So let's just hear how it sounds. But for right now, I'm going to turn down the vocals. So let's just do shift and hit the Q link to go backwards and turn down the vocals. Let's hear it. It just gives a different texture and you can also still hear that vocal in the background. And some would say, oh, that sounds very bad. But to, in my ears, I like how that vocals is sounding kind of washed out. And what I said with the bass is that there's a bit of bass in the sound. So we can actually get back our full bass by having the actual bass stem and having that, you know, other stem, which is our sound together. So let's find a tempo to the sample. I would say it's about 140 and all I'm doing is just tapping one, two, three, four on the tap button while I hit the pad to kind of, you know, get an estimate. I would say it's around 140 though. And then we could just record that in. So now we have our main sound, but it's still not usable. It's still not there yet. So we're going to add a bit of effects to kind of bring more out of the sound. So let's hit this icon up here to go to our effects. So the first thing I'm thinking about is like getting rid of those harsh frequencies. So if I play it, you can hear that resonance really peaking and it just sounds very harsh. We can just EQ it out, but then that also just makes it even sound worse when you EQ it out on top of it not really sounding the best to begin with. So I would like to use something that adds a bit flavor to it. So talking about flavor, let's go to air flavor and let's see what effects it has. And 
and it did a job right there. It took out a bit of that highs and it also gave it another unique sound. All right, so now what I'm thinking is, you know, I gotta use one of my favorite plugins for, you know, different kind of modulation or just movement in my tracks. And that is the air filter gate. And I used it in the other video as well. So let's just hear what it sounds like. From there, you already got something going. That's hard. Timekeeper, that one goes hard. You know, I used it in the other one as well. What I'm gonna do is go to the LFO and I'm gonna use an eight step and let's just hear how that sounds. So you hear like dun 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 and then we can mess with the envelope. Probably just bring that down to 100%. So it's like it's pushing back that dun 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 sound. So if I open it back up, but if I close it, yeah, that's hard. And then I got to throw in, you know, the go to half speed. This is something that I like to mess around with when I have a lot of movement in my track and I just want to slow it down. So that sounds a bit cool, but what I actually like to do is go to the next preset over, which is a filter half speed. Just more texture, man. And we could bring this down like 50%. And I'm gonna just throw one more effect and that's the reverb. But one of my favorite preset is close. Close just does something. Closest make the sound sound a bit more full. So now, you know, we get in somewhere, but I still feel like it's still not there yet. So we can add more plugins. And since we're on the program itself, we could actually go to the pad section and then add another four if we want it. Because remember, all the samples are linked to pad one. Now I do have an announcement, which is the new ebook out. And this is called the Sensei Workflow. Now the thing with this ebook versus the first ebook, the first ebook was more about like different sauces that you can use with the MPC. But this one is about a workflow and specifically for the 2.0, but it can still translate over to the 3.0. Like the sampling topics, like the sampling workflow, it won't change because that's within the sample edit mode. And then the mixing, that may change a little just because of the navigations and the layout might be different, but the concepts can still be applied like bus compression, adding vintage effects to your drums and stuff like that. Also, if you found value in my videos and you want to show some support, that's a great way to help the channel. So now let's get back to the video. This one, I want to just do something different. You know, I seen this plugin called Sample Delay. This smooths out everything and it just gives a different texture. So with it off. It's messing with the stereo imaging and really that's what you want to do when it comes to like these artifacts. You want to kind of mess with the stereo imaging because it could kind of push some of the artifacts in the background and bring more of that sound back to the forefront. So I just want to add one more effect and that is the kill EQ because now I want to just, you know, either take a bit of the low end off or something like that. Oh, this don't even sound bad either. Kill and boost the lows. So I think that's at a good point now. So let's just turn all of our effects off and do it before and after. Now you may be thinking it really don't sound that great and you are entitled to your own opinion, but for me, this sounds dope. And also keep in mind, you're just only hearing it just with the sound alone. Now I do have a drum and bass pattern set up already, so we're gonna hear how it sounds with the beat. So before I play this, I hope you now see the secret sauce really is just to mix your sound. Get good at mixing and get good at interpreting 
things in a different way so you can enhance your mixing skills in a sense. And from there you can tweak it and really make it sound unique because if I just had a clean audio all the way through, it would be dope, but then I wouldn't get this sound though. So let's hear how it would sound with the beat. What we also can do is add like another effect if we want like a different part for our arrangement. And I'm gonna go with something that I know you guys probably been sleeping on and that is Fex Beat, man. Go to bonus and I like the slow triplet. That's it for today's video. Hope you learned something, man. Just remember, it always comes down to you. It's not the gear, it's always the person behind it. Thank you, like and subscribe, share with your other producer friends, and peace.